Lakewood Crestview. Missing. Minor white female. Last seen Crestview Shopping Mall around 8 p.m. Mary Alice Spaulding, 16, 5'1", brown and brown, wearing a green duffel coat over a white sweater, green plaid skirt, and tennis shoes. Wait till she gets home. Hitchhikers is against company policy, but anyway, they're safe and warm back there in Silicon Valley. Uh -huh. Larry Broom. I'm a traveling salesman. Sounds like a joke, huh? Seen any good looking farmers' daughters? Farmers' daughters? Uh, not a one. Are you a local or what? Backpacking. Hey, yeah, I've always wanted to try that. But I uh, married an indoor lady. She thinks I talk too much, too. So, uh, where are you headed? L.A. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's, that's perfect for me. Well, I'm not heading directly there. I'm... I've got to make some stops. Uh, I, I'm making some calls. I, I'm going to have some breakfast. And stop where? Crestview. Nah, don't stop in Crestview. We're in a decent restaurant in the whole dump. <laughs> you know, we may not have much choice. Uh, this turkey is getting thirsty again. Yeah, no one's thirsty to me. Uh, the, the gauge uh, sticks at half full. You don't know when you're going to run out. trucking route. You probably get a faster ride with a trucker. Oh, wait. Fill her up. You got it. Can I leave it here while I get something to eat? It's okay by me. surprise. Buddy, I just wanted to take this opportunity to tell you how much I missed you. He's supposed to miss me, too. It's in the contract. Two bow ties. Make my shirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yesterday was fantastic. I think I'm going to be on the cover of the sales report. home tonight, we'll go eat something Polynesian. Uh, likewise. <laughs> Goodbye. Six seventy-five. Why don't you just keep this? Hey, thanks. My friend took off, huh? Yeah, it looked like he uh, maybe head over to the bus station. Oh, my, 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 my. 
<laughs> what do you feed the kids around here? <laughs> I was looking at the right thing at the wrong time. Yes, yeah, sir. Could I see your license, please? Oh, sure. sure. Just you step out of the car, please, Mr. Broom? I'd like you to take the field sobriety test. Officer, I don't think uh, I've had a drink since I had a beer at Dodger Steve maybe three four months ago. Yes, yeah, sir. There's enough evidence of reckless driving to warrant the test. Just take a moment. Please stand with your feet together. I'd like for you to count on your fingers in the following manner. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three. HP Yankee Niner, need a plate check. Oh, come on, Billy, pick up. I think that was Billy with the sheriff. Probably right. Be sober. Write him up. Mr. Broom, we're going to have to do a warrant check on your license plate. If you please get in your car drive slowly around to that building, wait for us there. Okay. outstanding on you, Mr. Broom? No, sir. I have never been arrested in my life. I think you just told a fib, sir. What? Take it easy. DUI prelim, 10 April 1983. That's drunk driving. What? Wait a minute. That's not possible. I didn't even own that car in April. Okay, that's it. You're using my license plate, right? Yeah. Punch up Albany. Jack Albany. It's a used car. I bought it from him. He's probably the one who did the drunk driving. Albany, S-A-L-B-A-N-Y. I. They found the Spalding girl. Stabbed to death in the woods. I've never seen anything worse. The new reserve deputy found this guy trying to climb the ridge. Blood on his pants. There's a jacket near the body. Fits him perfect. He's a vagrant. Where the reserves go? They're staying with the body until the M.E. gets there. I wish they were here instead. Why? The guy who found the body is a friend of the girl's father. You know Max Spaulding? No. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna meet him. He and four of his pals just left Petrie's pretty liquored up. They aren't gonna wait for a trial. What you in for, Ace? <laughs> Computer error. You don't think you might be overreacting just a little bit, Sheriff, do you? Listen, you're a visitor here. I live in this town, and I know Mac. We gotta move this joker down to Ridgeline. Does HP have a prisoner's van at your station? They have a deuce and a half of armor plate. Well, great. Call him and order it. And also, get us some backup. What's going on? What happened to the lights? Dead. Anything? Nothing you can see. I go out the back and make a run from my car. Will he fire? I don't know. Anything could happen. My Jeep's behind the gas station. If you went out the back way, you could make it before Sam got to you. Does your Jeep have a CB? Yeah. It don't always work. Well, if it doesn't work, then give me 10 minutes to get to the station, then 10 minutes back. Skelly, wait a second. Where's your car? Half block down in front of my house. Two of us try it, we got double the chance. Makes sense. It's no Chrysler 300. I hope it starts for you. It's about time someone asked that. There was a computer glitch, and while they were trying to take care of it... Billy! What's going on out there? That was somebody firing from Petrie's. They missed Skelly. Sam went after Roker. Lord, they're worked up. They're actually shooting. Well, get back to that window out there. What's going on? You talking about a mob or something? Oh, my God. They're gonna try to take me? They won't. Yeah, who's gonna stop them? You and that wimp out there? You gotta let me out of here. You gotta let me defend myself. Wait! What about me? You're both safe here. Yeah, you'd be all right. They'd be glad to leave a witness behind. Five minutes with a hacksaw gets them through this door, Sheriff. Back up against that wall. Now! Come on, come on! I'm gonna put you down in the basement. All right, come on out. Slowly. Just keep your distance. I'm gonna lock you in a storm cellar. It's got a four-inch steel door. Sheriff, I I'm not even supposed to be here. Call your deputy. If I have to do it, I'll use this. Billy! Drop the gun belt, Slick. Yeah, that storm cell is a good idea. But for the two of you, get up! Move it! Damn computer error. Take off your shirt and coat. Why? Because they're going to think you're me. Let's go! Well... Do it! All right, what do they think you did? Hell, I'm cutting through this patch to the highway. I trip over this kid. She's laying in the brush. Blood everywhere. I got some on my jacket and some on my knee. But I didn't kill her. Why don't you just tell them that? Because you're going to do it much better. You're a salesman. Uh, the, the, listen, the fellow you're after is... He just took off. See, he took my clothes. I, 
He, he's got my clothes. You'll have to talk with the sheriff about this. Right now, here. listen. Come here, you little stuff. You picked the wrong little girl. Jack R. DUI, April 1983. What do you know? Gentlemen, where do I pay my fine? Uh, you've, you've paid Mr. Broom. If you could just sign this, please, it would help us. Fenner didn't happen to uh, tell you where he was headed, did he? No, I would have told you, officer. You know, he swore he didn't do it. Well, I never met one who admitted he did. You know, I knew something like this was going to happen today. Yesterday, I had a fantastic day. Everything went right. And I never have two days like that in a row. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Mr. Broom. Uh, would you like to make a call? Uh, at least we can do. No, I want to make a call, but I don't think I want to make it from here. Yes, sir. You take her easy. Good night, sir. Listen, I don't think I can make it as soon as I expected. Maybe by 11 if the traffic's clear. I've had uh, quite a day. I'll tell you all about it when I get there. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just got a good story to tell myself. Yeah, uh huh? Mm, okay. You know, hon, I may not be able to make it by midnight. <laughs> but the weather is turning nasty up here. Yes, yeah, so I'll be careful. If it gets too bad, I'll just check into a motel. I'll see you soon. Love you, too. Uh, <laughs> you seem to be having the same kind of day that I've been having. Come on, I'll give you a lift. It's against company policy, but then they're safe and warm back in Silicon Valley. Lucky them. <laughs> Lucky me. Mm -hmm. Just be a sec, OK? Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> 